The ability that allows the electric current to flow is referred to as electric conductance. Electric conductance is directly associated with material electric conductivity, where it can be low or high depending on the atomic structure of the material. The material or the object that allows electric current to flow is called a conductor. Metals, electrolytes, superconductors, semiconductors, and plasmas are all examples of conductors. However, in this video, we'll focus on metal conductors. Silver has a higher electrical conductivity. Copper has a high conductivity, though it's weaker than the silvers. Aluminum has lower conductivity when compared to the previous metals. By examining the atom's fundamental structure, the conductive substance and its structure may be recognized, more specifically in conductive materials. The atom's final orbit, the valence shell, typically has one or a very small number of electrons. This indicates that these electrons are weakly connected to the atom and, as a result of their high mobility, can readily leave their positions when energy is applied. Because of that, the atom's chemical structure will have more cross-links that will allow the transmitted electrons from passing when energy is applied, and hence, more electrons can pass freely. A material's conductance is determined by a number of factors, including Firstly, material conductivity, which is determined by the crystal structure and chemical composition of the material. How loosely the electrons are bound to the atom. The higher the mobility would be, and hence, the higher the conductivity. Also, as much the crosslinks found on the material structure that allow electrons from passing, as much the conductivity would be. As a result, only a little amount of energy is necessary to move these electrons from one atom to another in such substances. Second, the geometrical structure formation. When the length of a material is reduced, the material conductance increases, and when the cross-sectional area of that material is increased, the material conductance increases and vice versa. Material conductance is measured in Siemens, while material's conductivity is measured in Siemens per meter. That was the first element that affects the electric circuit. The second element shall be introduced in the next episode, so ensure that you're subscribed and click the bell icon. Please help us by liking, commenting, and sharing. This encourages us to deliver more. Wait for the next video on the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you next week.